Hello everyone. This video is talking about what should we pay attention to when we're using our IP camera to watch our duck box. So a duck box is kind of like a bird box. It, they're shaped the same, but duck boxes are slightly bigger because ducks, most ducks are bigger than most birds. And a duck box, when we set it out there, ducks will you know, get inside, lay eggs, hatch them, and it's just like one of their nests and it provides more safety and it doesn't have to be in, exposed to the rain. So a duck box like that is kind of like sealed around, only an entrance and also an exit for the ducks. And if we want to like watch, watch the duck hatch their eggs, the little ducklings crawling out, they're very precious moments. But when we set it out in the wild, we can't just like go over there and open the box. It will interrupt them and sometimes we'll miss out those interesting moments when we're on our way there. So we should, if we have an idea of using like a mini tiny camera to install it inside the box, we can watch what's happening all the time. Even if we don't have time to watch it in front of our uh, mobile device or our screens, we can also record it down. So luckily, we Green Backyard have designed a very special IP camera to do that. Now this one in my hand is our outdoor mini bird feeder camera. You can see its size is really small, smaller than my fist. So basically this can fit in most duck boxes. And with this small size, it also comes with 1080p high definition resolution. So basically we can see very clearly on what's going on. And also it has wide angle lenses with adjustable lenses. This because the inside of a duck box, sometimes it's narrow, a wide angle lens will give us a very wide view of the whole inter interior. And also adjustable lenses will allow us to adjust the focus length to let us get more clear images. Because sometimes if we get those cameras with a fixated focus length, sometimes the images are blurry, but we can't do anything to improve it unless we move the camera back and forth. But sometimes it's hard for it to install that way. So the adjustable lenses is kind of important as well. And it also has a night vision, which is infrared. Infrared will help us see clearly even when it's dark around. The infrared will give us a clear image, not colorful, but very clear. So it would be a very good way to watch the ducks during nighttime. And it has, you know, audio, which is like a microphone integrated inside. We can hear the ducklings, hear them quack, quack, quack. Very interesting. So it, we can please our audio and video experience. And it has recording features, like I said. It records the images and the videos onto the heart, uh, micro SD card in integrated inside, and we can watch it on a mobile device, watch the playbacks whenever we want. It's, and we can share it with our friends through like email or some of the social media apps. So this camera has basically everything we wish for for like installing inside a duck box. If we use those security cameras, they're gonna to be too big and it's gonna startle the ducks or it's gonna not fit inside the duck box. And most important, this outdoor camera is waterproof, rated at least IP65. So it's perfectly okay to leave it inside the duck box, even you know when the ducks just came back from a swim and they shake all the water off of them when they get in, the, the water won't damage the camera. If we use like a regular camera, which is not waterproof, sometimes the rain, sometimes the water coming off from the ducks will touch or you know, get on the, cam the camera and you know, get inside and damage the components and then goodbye to the camera. So we have basically two versions of these IP cameras. One is wireless Wi-Fi camera. This one can transmit the signals wirelessly but we will also have to use uh, power to power it up with like a 12 volt direct current adapter to power it up with a cable. And we also have a PoE wired uh, camera. The PoE wired camera will power it up with an ethernet cable. It, the ethernet cable will transmit both power and data. This is the PoE technology. It is much more simpler because if you think, you will need a cable to connect to the camera either way, either device. But to be honest, the PoE has more stable connection, although the Wi-Fi has more mobility. So like you can place it in a lot of places, but sometimes the geography will limit the PoE camera. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.